Hello folks, Coach Kara here. So we are here with another dating type video. And today I want to talk about spinning the block. What to do when the ex decides to double back to come back to be with you. Listen guys, I know this has been going on for quite some time and it usually happens to all of us at some point. Hmm, but there's always a particular ex that you have to really put into question, right? So here's what, if you've been indecisive about allowing someone to come back into your life, um, or there may be the possibility of they haven't, maybe haven't done so yet, everything is still fresh. Or you can use this going forward. Listen, there are only two types of people that come back into your life, right? So you may have the ex that comes back. It's been quite some time since you two have been apart. They've evolved. They've done, they've done the work to, to grow, um, did some internalizing, some self-reflecting, made the necessary behavioral changes that was needed, not only for themselves, but for their past relationships, okay? They've done that work. And when they come back, you will immediately be able to see the work that has been done. You'll be able to feel that because as you all know, we're, we're energy-based people. So when a particular ex come back, you already know how to feel. But when that change has been made within and you can not only see it on them, there's usually something like a glow or there's a difference about them and an aura that you can pick up on. It's different and it's lighter. You can feel that energy, right? That is when you know and you can believe that what they're saying is factual because you can feel it besides just seeing it. You can feel the change, right? So there's that type of X that comes back. The one that always puts us on the fence and give us anxiety and make us want to really, you know, ponder about what to do, put us on pause, is the one who has not, the complete opposite. Doubles back after a short period of time, a couple weeks, a few days, for whatever reason. There could be a plethora of reasons as to why this person comes back. And it's usually with an ulterior motive, okay? But why does this type of individual decides to double back? Well, for one, it is you. A person who knows that they can come back and is brave enough to do so, it's because they know that they can. See, they already know your weakness. They already know that you're probably their Achilles heel. You're not as strong-minded. You have a weak backbone, they can pretty much charm their way and romance their way right back into your bed with ease. Then everything just will fall right back into place as where it was before. They know that, that's why they do that. And, and to be honest, <laughs> it actually works probably 85% of the time because they know that they can. That is why that type of individual comes back, regardless if they have a reason or not. They already know, hey, if I was to leave her or him, I can always come back because they'll let me. That is not good. That is not a good look for you at all because that's what they think about you. And now you can determine or realize, I should say, why you've always had issues in your relationship because they thought a certain way about you. So more so than likely, if you had someone to double back and to come into your life, either they were severely desperate, like close to, <laughs> close to smelling the streets to live, like right there at the brink of being homeless, like sheer desperation, or because they simply know that they can just always come back. You give them a third, fourth, fifth, second chance. They know this. Okay, so here's what. So the question lies, should I? Should I allow my past person to come back? My love, listen, when things leave or 
we leave it, it should probably always remain in the past, right? Because typically, in order for one thing to function properly, both parties or all parties involved need to be operating and functioning the way it's supposed to be. So if one person has done the work and the other has not, it still is not going to work. If one person has never put in any initiative to make changes and to be accountable, hold himself responsible and reliable for certain things, for a lot of things, and neither has the other person, it is not going to work, my love. Okay, it, it still isn't going to work. <laughs> so in order for anything to work, all parties involved need to get their ish together in order for something to work properly. But here's what, all right? So you have to decide for yourself, how much do you love yourself, right? And if you lack that level of self-worth, you don't have as much as a high esteem, you're going to, you're going to have issues with that. Because I can tell you right away, if you're with that second person that I mentioned, I guarantee you immediately you will begin to feel anxiety. Do I trust myself? Am I going to make the right decision? If I let this person come back, I don't want to be alone, but at the same time, I don't trust them. You know, we have issues. No, right there. That's your answer. Right there in that moment is we should close the door or disconnect or not reply and say, no, I'm good. Or, or, all right, circumstances are a little different. Make them work for it. See, when you give someone something all the time without having to do any work or it's effortlessly, you're never going to get the results that you deserve. If he or she or this individual wants to come back badly enough, they will do everything that is necessary it is to do to come back. So meaning you're going to have to put that to the test. You're going to have to put them to the test. How, how, how much are you willing to come back into my life to make me happy, to like me, because that's way more important than loving, and to show love to me the way it's supposed to be? Put them to the test. Don't allow them to come back just yet. Start with communication. If that person can communicate with you on a daily basis for freaking six months, interacting with you, reconnecting, vibing without the minimal, you know, being around each other interaction at all. If they can do that, now that's challenging as hell, right? They can't at 11, at 11 p.m. at night. Hey, can I, can I come in or... Ding. what you doing can I come over no none of that no you want all of their actions to be proven make them work for it yes make them work hard as hell and when six months have come maybe you guys can go out and have a cup of coffee all right even that right there is iffy because here's the here's the here's the thing I was reading a book once and, and the daughter was telling the mother who was dating this guy who just was weird or whatever. And the daughter says, well, you have to be careful because some people have long patience. She didn't understand that and neither did I. She said, he's willing to wait out for how long he for how long it is that's necessary to get what he wants. You have to be mindful of that, of those types of people. Some people will wait for however long it is to get what it is that they want for you. And that right there could be challenging. So with behavior and actions, all of that is going to be proven to you and it'll be on your terms. Okay. You'll be the decider of, is it genuine? Should I, shouldn't I? You have plenty of time to get yourself together to assess the situation the way it should be. And then you can make a decision away. I know it sounds crazy, right? But you look, look, look. What's the sense of letting somebody back in within the next few days or a week or so and you're right back to where you were at the end of the relationship? That is senseless. So if someone wants to come back to you, 
Okay, it's nice that you want to come back, but for why? What are you going to do to make the necessary change for us to be a better couple? Like you just can't come back and we just go back and revert to what we were doing. You only end up in the same place. You're doing a, literally doing a 360 versus a 180. There's a difference, you know. So you want to make sure that this person, if you really care about them and you care about yourself, you're going to make them put in that necessary work. Why? Because you deserve it. And it'll, it'll be quite telling in the end to see what happens. I'll, I'll be really curious to see. Um, and while I was thinking about this particular topic, I remember one time having a discussion with one of my, my homeboys, right? And he was telling me about another mutual friend of ours, how he ended his relationships. It was like months earlier, like earlier in the year. And then like three to four months later, he decided to spend the block. But there was a reason. He was trying to open his business. He was a little short on the loan money that he was trying to get, like a few thousand, wasn't a whole lot, but he didn't have it. He'd given his all. So, who else? His ex. She had a quite a bit of savings. They were together for some time and he knows this. So what does he do? He eased his way back in. It was so simple, but he didn't move back in with her. He just began to court her, buy a little 7-Eleven roses, like do little things, take her out maybe once a week, show some sort of affection, whatever what was necessary to make her believe that he was back for the right reasons, okay? Nearly four months later, after he's put on this whole charade and facade, some kind of way he ends up getting the money. I don't know if he, she gave it, whatever. We don't know the whole specifics on that. But he got it and he got his business. Guess what? Right afterwards, he began to slowly, slow fade out of her life. The calls stopped, stopped coming, the text diminished. They were like two to three word texts. You know, he stopped coming around and he just vanished altogether. Now this is her story. And that was that, he got the money and that was gone. So this is why I am sharing with you people, you have to make someone work, make them go to distance. If they like you that much, have them to simply prove it. Proof is always in the pudding, as they say. Make them prove it, show and prove. You just can't double back and then just do the same thing and just think you guys are gonna be better because, ooh, I miss you, okay? That is quite natural. It's normal to miss someone that you care about or that you think you love. Okay. Yeah, it's normal. <laughs> it's normal. It'll easily, it, someday it'll pass with ease. You'll no longer think about them and your life will be going on. But you just can't come back because you miss them or you think you can't do better, my love. You simply can. The both of you can. Perhaps that, Perhaps maybe one of you wasn't the one causing all the issue, but you wasn't the right person for this person to make the necessary changes that needed to be done. See, there's always that one individual that's going to be that game changer that can make a person want to act right, want to do better, wants to believe in themselves and have better confidence and, and, and want to care about themselves enough to be able to care about you. It's going to take that one person out there, but until they find that, it's going to be recklessness, okay? Keep that in mind. So if you didn't make this person change for the better, you probably won't now. It takes a lot of work and self-reflecting to get to a certain level of evolution, of evolving, okay? I'm still in the process of, it's hard as hell. But listen, I hope that was helpful for most of you. Um, hopefully you don't have to deal with this sort of experience ever because it's, it's weird. I've had it done to me a few times, but I don't do second chances, okay? Listen, speaking of second chances, yeah? The first chance is when you meet someone and you lay down the rules, your standards, your boundaries, your integrity, what you will and will not tolerate. And then when they F up, that's the first chance. They do something again, that's the second. That's it, done. Okay, it's not second, third, and fourth second chances. You know that, right? 
Otherwise, well, that person will no longer take you seriously. And I'm the type of individual that likes to be taken seriously and not have my intelligence insulted multiple times over and over again. No, we're not doing that. So you keep that in mind as well, okay? And as I always say, my love, you should never be in the business of keeping someone who does not want to be kept. I thank you for joining me always. That is all for now. Until next time.